Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Uh, so we finished our gun nut hunt on the last episode. So what do we need? Bullet sharks. How many we gotta kill? 40 of them? Okay. Uh, and we unlocked... What was that? The gun knight helmet? Okay, cool. Uh, so... I think I said something on the last episode about unlocking... Or about, uh... Being able to pick up... All the gun knight armor pieces. Maybe we don't have them all unlocked. Um... Star Pew, yeah, we'll buy it. And actually, you know what? I'm feeling like, uh... Like doing some special. Let's do a blessed run. We still need to do this. I'm um, kind of hoping the dog helps us out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know why I chose the hunter for... For the special run, for the blessed. Just kind of felt like it this time. You know, we had a just... Basically just enough hegemony credits to make it happen, too, after buying the star pew. Alright, so we miss out on the crossbow, but... Hey, that's fine. Ooh, I turned my headphone volume way too far up. Give me a second. Oh, I'm so glad that that shot missed. I took my hand off the controller just for a second to uh, just my headphone volume, and that shot went whizzing by. Alright, come on, I'm ready to switch guns now, please. Hey, cold 45. It's not bad. Ooh, yes please, give me some keys. I don't even care that I got hit there. Uh, this is the... What's this gun called? I think it's just the missile launcher or something. Rocket launcher. Uh, the Origunny. I hate this. We can move along, please. I do like that we get to see so many guns with this mode. Like, that's something that's really fun. Um, sometimes, you know, it can be a pain in the ass if you're in the middle of a boss fight, and it's like, hey, I know you want this clob. Why would that be there if that's not a secret room? That's weird. See how there's not a path going off to the left here? If there was, I would definitely assume that's the secret room. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, this is the Gungeon. Yeah, I like that. Of course, now we're finding all of the uh, gun nuts, now that we're done with that. Uh, that's not a secret room for sure. That's also not the secret room. Um, not a mimic? Okay, keep that in mind. With the Blessed Run, I don't really want to do the extra floors, um, being the, the uh, Oubliette and the Abbey. I just feel like they decrease our chances of getting all the way to the Dragon and past the Dragon. Which I think is all we need to do to uh, technically complete the Blessed Run challenge. I think you just need. I don't think you need to kill the Lich or like the characters past or anything. I'm pretty sure the unlock happens as soon as you kill the dragon. Uh, what is this? A crestfaller? I can dig that. Oh, princess, please be quiet, please. I would like that. Thank you. Um, I need to get out of that corner, that's for sure. Oh, we got the sniper, or is this the M1? Oh my goodness, this little dog, she is so mad at the world. Everything outside, she cannot stand. Look at all that money, though. Good, good, ah, goodness gracious, is what I was trying to say. Bullet, 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 bullet. This gun's so dumb. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh... In a way, it reminds me of if you ever played Dark Cloud for PS2. Um, I never played Dark Cloud 2, so I don't know if, if the weapon is in there. But one of your characters in Dark Cloud uses a slingshot as her weapon. And one of the different slingshots you can find is named Steve. And he'll just talk to you while you're walking around. Um, he'll just say stuff. You know, say stuff about the enemies you're fighting or... Just random words, basically. Um, what's this room? Oh, we still haven't found the shop yet. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what bullet reminds me, or uh, lowercase r reminds me of. Uh, there was also an upgrade to Steve called Super Steve, and I'm pretty sure it was the same slingshot but with a cape. 
Uh, this might be really good. Melted Rock, I'm pretty sure that's the one that makes corpses explode. Uh, so I kind of want that. Uh, let's grab our key, and we'll open the green chest first, hope that it's our passive item, and then we can ignore the blue chest. With any luck, that's how it'll work out. Oh, wow. That actually does not help us all that much. <laughs> uh, normally, Unity is so good, but uh, it it takes like the it takes a percentage from the other guns that you have in your possession, and we don't really have any other guns in our possession. That's that's how this works. Shit. Uh, okay. I guess. I guess that's how we're gonna do it this game. Uh, oh. I didn't realize that it switched away from the, uh, oh, whatever gun I just had out. To, a uh, beam weapon. I was like, why? I'm shooting, it's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, where are you at? You stupid old seagull bird. Get exploded. Ooh, skull spitter. Yes, please. Homing skulls, right? I'm pretty sure they home. Oh, God. Uh, let's get me the fuck out of here. We have not yet used our blanks. Haven't really needed to. I haven't felt too endangered. Uh, where are you at, dog? And by dog, I mean bird. Oh, I am shooting chihuahuas at him, though. That's kind of funny, right? Is it chihuahuas or cats? I think it's little chihuahuas. Little puppies. Damn, and two keys. What is this, Rubidine? No. This might be the dragon breath or something? Dragon fire? Uh, I guess we could check. <laughs> yeah, dragon fire. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we find the secret room anywhere in here? No? Alright, let's check in the shop. Is it in here? It sure is. Ooh, and another chest. Maybe we'll get some passive item? Or just a little bit of money. I guess that's fine. Um, we're rolling in keys, so I definitely want to pick up the melted rock. Yeah, corpses explode. I'm pretty sure this is going to help us out a lot. I, I think this is a good pickup. Okay. Sorry, I uh, got a text from my wife. Just wanted to see what that was all about. It's nothing too serious. She just says she misses me and she loves me. You know, sweetness. I mean, she we talked like a couple hours ago. Um, basically, she's saying, like, I don't know, we, we won't have a... I'm not on the schedule at my job on Saturday, but I could probably pick up the shift on Saturday. Um, and it would be good because, you know, money. Uh, kind of need some of that to be able to keep doing this. Um, so basically, she she was asking if I could pick up a shift on Saturday. And then... Uh, and, you know, I'm totally willing to. That's not a problem at all. Um, but then she's like, well, we might not get to hang out much... You know, so maybe it would be good to have an extra day to hang out. So, you know, she just... She loves me. I love her, too. Marriage, you know. Uh, oh, I was like, excuse me? Why did I just get cursed for no damn reason? Switch me to the Huntsman. But yeah, just some sweetness. That's all. No danger in those texts. But I gotta check. She's my wife. If... She sent me a text saying, hey, I need you right now. Like, no joke, right now. I gotta go, you know? I gotta take that shit seriously. So, sorry for interrupting the video for a moment to check that, but kinda had to. I wouldn't even call it an obligation uh, to her. It's, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Not an obligation, because that means, like, that implies I don't want to do it. That's not the case at all. Um, I don't know. There's a word for this. Not even responsibility. Because, um, again, that kind of implies, like, I don't want it. Or it's... I don't know. 
because that's that's not the, the case at all. Uh, it's like uh, I guess I volunteered for it. I don't. That's still not the right phrase, but you know, that's closer to it. I embrace it. Oh, we got old Goldie. I, I dig that. We got a gun muncher, which is actually useless. Uh, and I'm realizing I have failed to use my uh, active item once. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. I don't know why I ran through the room that way. That was not a good idea. Okay, so apparently the active item for uh, these dudes, the little bullet bats and then the tiny bullets, the tiny bat bullets, uh, apparently none of them drop corpses. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, boss fight, eh, let's see if we can find our passive item. We should be able to, I mean, it's not, it's going to be in one of the two chests. We'll just open this, that's not it. That ain't it. Ooh, but the D-pad. I'm actually just going to spam this out real quick. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to actually use it. <sighs> it's going to take so long to do this. Um, I guess while I'm using up the ammo, I can check for secret rooms in places. I don't think it's going to be there. Um, because basically the D-pad will spawn us a free chest. That's all I'm looking for out of it. I'm just looking for a free chest. Give me some free shit, yo. Almost out of ammo on it. And I don't want to walk into another room, because then we risk it, uh... Well, there's two problems with that. It could either switch to a different gun, and then we don't get the chest. Or, the chest could spawn, and then it gets broken in the room by enemy bullets. Uh, Heart of Ice, I'm good with. I'm happy with that. Give me that extra HP probably gonna need it. Um, I would really like a different weapon though. Phoenix is not great. Can't even use the fire attack against those dudes. They're like, fire? I don't care. I am fire. Duh. <laughs> Why would a fireball care about being on fire? It is always on fire. What is that noise? Do you hear that? That like, is that the acid on the floor? I guess so, yeah. Because I didn't hear it uh, when it faded for a moment. See, but I still hear it for just a second. I don't know, that's weird. Um. Okay. Let's pop that real quick. Oh, goodness. Uh, see, here's the thing. I'm not really sure what constitutes a corpse. I thought, like... I don't know. Uh, you would assume it's like every enemy drops a corpse uh, of some sort, but I'm not really sure about that. Uh, this, I don't... I mean, I didn't expect the unicorn horn to last too long. Same for the demon head. That's probably going to fade away quickly. Um, I'm not sure what's over there to the left, but I know our item room is down here. So let's check that out first. And that's probably going to stop. Yeah. Uh, we do have the, com or we had the composite gun. Yikes, Molotov launcher is a little sketchy. Um, I mean, we know it's our passive item, so I'll open it. Oh, you know, potion of lead skin might be better. I think I'm going to take potion of lead skin over the, yeah, I'll take the defensive over the offensive, because we can use this in boss fights pretty reliably. Um, the other one's mostly for clearing out rooms. And I don't mind that we spent some money on it. It's fine. Um, okay. Was there anything in the shop we wanted to buy? I don't think so. I think it just had empty spots for guns. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I didn't mean to teleport all the way back there. Alright, let's go fight the boss. We got Potion of Lead Skin ready to go. We got Molotov Launcher, which is going to be... Oh, good. <laughs> it, I'm so glad it switched us away from the Molotov Launcher. That would be some bullshit. That would be some real bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the gore gun. I like this fight. I feel like it's been a while since we've gotten to fight her. All right, I'm gonna pop this here because she puts out a lot of bullets, and the potion of lead skin actually uh, deflects bullets back at the enemy that shot them at you. 
Uh, I would like to get rid of the trash cannon, please. Any day now. Okay, we can move up a little bit closer. Um... So our potion is taking a while to reload, but we're also not putting out all that much damage, I feel like. Uh, maybe if we can get something to increase our coolness, that would be helpful. It would give us more uses on the uh, potion of lead skin, for sure. Oh, come on. Almost there. There we go. One thing I've noticed about uh, the game design for this is pretty much every reference to iron is removed and replaced with lead. Um, well, except for, ironically, Big Iron. <laughs> uh, but that's a reference to a uh, song. Uh, big Iron on his hip. Alright, let me check the shop for the secret room, I guess. Nope. Okay. We'll just go on down. Um, but yeah, like, instead of Potion of Iron Skin, as it would be in, you know, like, Dungeons and Dragons, or I think uh, Skyrim has a Potion of Iron Skin, all sorts of RPGs do. Um, they replace a potion of lead skin, or uh, instead of an iron maiden, it's a lead maiden. Stuff like that. It's just clever wordplay, I guess. Because it still works. You know, if it's an iron maiden made of lead, isn't it technically a lead maiden? I mean, not even that the iron maiden was ever a real torture device, that's always up for debate. Um, some say it was just created for a, uh, like a museum exhibit, basically. Someone was like, hey, you know what would be messed up for this torture museum is, uh, we came up with a device where you put someone in and it slowly, like, there's a, it looks like a person, or like, you know, a sarcophagus sort of deal, and then you put them in there and there's a bunch of tiny little needles that just barely prick their skin so they slowly, slowly bleed out. If, if you didn't know, that's what an Iron Maiden is. Um, but it's highly up for debate uh, whether it was ever historically used. Little history lesson for you there. Um, the only reason I know that is because I've watched way too many documentaries on Netflix, and so sometimes you end up watching some weird ones like the history of torture devices, or torture devices of the, mid uh, of the Middle Ages. Or Hitler in the Andes, where you learn about how a whole bunch of Nazis escaped to South America at the end of World War II. And it's very likely that Adolf Hitler was among them, and he did not kill himself in his bunker in Berlin. Uh, you know, it, it, that's... I'm not saying what's true or not true. I wasn't there. I I just watched the, the conspiracy documentaries, I guess. Uh, not that the historical torture documentaries are and it's not like weird torture porn or anything it's just like hey these are the devices that are said to have been used and here's what they did and here's the origin of them and why they were used as such and you know uh yeah uh the other ones are just you know the i love watching the government conspiracy ones those are always really cool um, God, there was one series that was talking about aliens that was actually kind of compelling. Um, and, you know, I'm all about, you know, the existence of extraterrestrial life and intelligence. But do I believe that it's ever come to Earth? Maybe, maybe not. Like, I mean, could they? Probably. But also, it's not necessarily likely because of how big and far apart everything is. Um, although I did read an article not that long ago that said, uh, basically that it's more, oh god, ammo synthesizer is not the synthesizer we want, um, but basically saying that because more than one intelligent species has developed on Earth, uh, humans, um, dolphins are considered a, a highly intelligent species, um, I guess primates in general, not just humans, because, you know, a lot of members of the ape family are very intelligent. Um, there are several colonies of chimps that have been uh, observed using stone tools. So essentially they are damn close to Stone Age humans. Um, oh, we have bees. 
swarm my little asshole bees. Uh, but yeah, so because more than one intelligent tree has developed on Earth, basically, and tree not meaning like plant tree, but uh, family tree of a species, um, so humans, or uh, primates and dolphins, whatever dolphins are, um, that it's more likely for other intelligent, uh, it's basically more likely for other intelligent life to have developed elsewhere in the universe. So you could r roughly say the chance doubled because twice as many intelligent, you know, instead of just one, double that number uh, exists on Earth. Instead of just one branching tree, there's two of them. So who knows what, like, intelligent dolphins could do in the future. And there's, uh, god, what was it? Day of the Dolphin? Was that that horror movie? I think they spoofed it on The Simpsons, uh, years and years ago in a Treehouse of Horror episode. Um, but yeah, it's, like, basically using trained dolphins to take over the world. And it's like, oh, okay. What if dolphins... <laughs> decided they wanted to take over. Could they? Maybe. I mean, maybe not yet exactly, but what is going on with... Do I have something that just increases the number of bullets being put out? Because I feel like this, the star crossbow is doing a lot. God damn it. I don't know why I rolled diagonally right there. I didn't mean to, that's for sure. I like this hammer. That's pretty cool. Um... Okay. Oh, Rectangler. Neat. So, anyways, uh, there was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh... We found an item. What was it? Oh, it was these silly bullets. That's what it is. I have Scattershot now. Is that what that is? Scattershot? Yeah. Okay. That makes way more sense why so many more bullets have been flying on screen. I didn't even pay attention, I guess, when I picked it up. I was like, oh, in a bullet modifier, perfect. Ooh. Do we want to do a spice run, y'all? Do we want to do a spice run, though? Hmm. Yeah, I think I do want to do a spice run, though. I'm going to be a little spice girl. Oh, look how fast we are. That's beautiful. All right, let's go kick the shit out of this boss. We're just going to throw so many bullets at this problem. Yeah, wrecked, Mind Flayer. Oh, god damn it, we have to get through this. Um, so this kind of sucks, getting the little bomber boy. Not, uh, my ideal weapon for this fight. I would like something, uh... Yeah, there we go. Something closer to this. Oh, god damn it. I even have Potion of Lead Skin that I could have used. Really, it just switched from Bomber Boy back to Bomber Boy. That's weird and dumb. Like, didn't I just have this crap? I mean, I guess that's technically RNG still. Just because it's unlikely to happen doesn't mean it can't happen. I'm gonna potion a lead skin here just uh, so I can take these guys out. Um, and also, let's get rid of this unfinished gun as fast as possible, please. Um, and this is what Polaris? Not really gonna be helpful. Oh crap. I just got messed up in my. Uh... Oh, this is the. I have the beholster. That's awesome. Um, okay, that's fine. With I, I don't know how I was supposed to get out of that with blasphemy. That especially without full HP, that was weird. Um, so I was gonna go pick up that half red heart and be like, okay, let's look for other health. Now we got this. Anyways, I recommend watching alien conspiracy documentaries on Netflix. Of course, that's if you have Netflix, but if you don't have Netflix, you should probably get on that shit. Who doesn't have Netflix? I guess there's some people. 
Like, my mom. My mom doesn't have Netflix. I, I mean, you know, whatever. She... God, we had to stay the night there uh, a while ago because we were going somewhere in the morning and she was going to watch the dogs for us that day. Um, so we went over the night before just to, you know, hang out a little bit, stay the night, um, so that we wouldn't have to disturb her super early in the morning uh, bringing the dogs over. That was, you know, that was the idea. Um, the dogs ended up waking her up early in the morning anyways well, when we left, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but basically, my mom was at work when my wife and I got there, so we're like, alright, well let's, you know, put on a movie or something. I think we brought a couple movies with us. Uh, and I was so sure that she had a Blu-ray player. I was like, alright, cool, let's bring, you know, a couple Blu-rays, we'll bring some DVDs, I'm pretty sure she has a DVD player. You know, and then when she gets home from work, maybe we'll watch some some movies or something. Hang out. And we get there, and sure enough, she has a, a Blu-ray player unopened in the box. Like, completely unopened. And so I'm like, alright, I don't really want to open it for her. Like, I know I had seen it in her house before, uh, at least the box I had. I had seen the box. Um, God damn, I'm taking a lot of hits. But I was sure that she had set it up. I... I I could have sworn that she had told me about some movies she had watched. <laughs> um, and we couldn't find the DVD player. Or maybe we found the DVD player, but we couldn't find the cables to hook it up. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, she's had this Blu-ray player, and this was a couple months ago. It's still sitting in the box unopened. And it's not that she doesn't know how to hook it up, she just hasn't? Or isn't? I don't know. And it's for her, I asked. It's not even, like, a, a gift for someone else that she got. Which, you know, that would be reasonable. That's kind of why I didn't want to open it up without her permission, uh, basically, is because, you know, I didn't know who it was for. It's not mine. <laughs> and she taught me, if it's not mine, don't touch it. That's, you know, if there's, if there's one thing you're going to teach a kid, it's probably that. Or if there's one thing you should teach a kid, it's probably that. If it's not yours, leave it alone. Don't touch other people's shit. <laughs> Alright, we got the the D-pad again. So let's uh get rid of some of these bullets. Almost there. I was trying to just, like, fire one hand. Oh, no, no, it is working. I'm not sure why it wasn't for a moment there. I was trying to fire without holding down a direction. Oh, it switched to the Molotov gun again. I feel like it did that last time. Uh, dueling pistol, I don't care about. Um, let's check out this black market, though. These are awesome. So basically, you need 100 credits or at least one level of curse to come into these rooms. Um, and everything's like half price, basically. So Full Metal Jacket is a very obvious winner. Uh, Ring of Mimic Friendship, I don't care about. But Mimic Tooth Necklace plus Ring of Mimic Friendship unlocks every chest. So if we can get three keys, that might be worth it. Uh, Spice. Hmm. At this point, we're still getting benefits from Spice. So that's a real tempting. And how much do you want? 19? Yeah, alright. I'll play your game for 19. We still need to get a couple of uh, perfects anyways. Um, so I want to ricochet off of this one, not the one on the end. Oh, shit. I forgot about the, the scatter shot. Um, that kind of changes it up. Because all the bullets are just going to bounce around. Okay. This is weird. I guess I have a way better chance at getting any of them, but... How am I going to get this one now? Uh, maybe I can just bounce it off of there? Nah. Okay, well... We got another gun. Not really what we're looking for. Uh, have we found the shop yet? No. So it might be worth it to go look for the shop and buy some keys if possible. Because this is going to... Well, we're on the hollow already. There's not that many key, that, that many chests left to go through. Um, so maybe I will ignore those. And... Spice? And what was the other thing? Full Metal Jacket? I'll get the spice. Let's pop that. Yeah, it's a little bit more cursed, but hey, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. We'll be alright. It's a little bit more damage, too, I think. 
Uh, holy shit. Look at these jam pools. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, I would really like it. Oh. I was gonna say, I would really like it if this jammed thwomp would just die. A jammed ice block, rather. I guess calling it a thwomp block is both accurate and inaccurate, <laughs> in that it is not a thwomp block from Mario, but it does resemble one. Uh, oh, more spice. How much for the spice? 90. Hmm. Hmm, tempting. <sighs> it's so tempting to just do spice runs. Like, to just keep going, because it does increase your damage. But it also increases your curse. Oh, look at that. Let's do it one more. Alright, so... We've still gained one HP from Spice. Uh, basically, we gained two and lost one. I'm... I'm feeling good about this. We still have plenty of HP to kind of play around with. Um, this is... See, and the way I consider this, or the way I think about this uh, item, Spice, it's kind of like uh, Deal with the Devil in... Um in Binding of Isaac, where you're giving away health, but it's to make yourself stronger, usually, um, in one way or another, uh, at least in Binding of Isaac. In this, it's pretty much a damage uh, upgrade, but you you also kind of need the damage upgrade because you're going to be fighting more jammed enemies. It, it's a trade-off, but to me, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, you need to not do that. Um, so, oddly enough, I don't think we've seen any bullet sharks yet. Uh, at least I can't think of any that we've seen. Uh, they're the little... I mean, they're kind of like bullet bills, as far as I'm concerned. They just shoot out a huge trail of bullets behind them. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's one of the blue dudes. Okay. Get wrecked. I was just making sure it wasn't a lead maiden, basically. Uh, green chest will open it. That's not really what we're looking for, but hey, whatever. At least we know that the other chest will be our passive slash active item. We don't have a key for it just yet, but I'm sure we could make that happen. Um, that is not really a good thing. Two keys for a blue chest? Nah. I, I, I pass. Thank you, but I pass. Been seeing a ton of gun nuts, though. That's super annoying. Right after we're done killing gun nuts, it's like, oh, hey, have like 10 of them on this run. Uh, what is this, the helix? Right on. <laughs> it's shooting out like six bullets. That's awesome. She got so many. <laughs> yeah, I'm digging. I, I really like Scattershot. It makes your shots a little bit less accurate, but you're putting out so much more. It's, it really does kind of just work out. Especially, you know, something like this, where the weapons follow a specific path anyways. Oh, that's... That was the, uh, Mega Dowser. Ha. Huh. Um, but yeah, there's, uh... God, what's the item called? Uh, Laser Sight. If we could get that with Scattershot, it's so good. So it keeps pretty much all of your shots on target, like, st straight line. Um, and maybe with Scattershot, it spreads them out a little bit, but I'm pretty sure, like, with a shotgun, it looks like you're essentially shooting out one bullet. Uh, yeah. I'll do it. I, I think I'm gonna just take every spice they give me. I think that's how this is gonna go. I think that's, I think that's not a terrible idea. We do still have Potion of Lead Skin for the Dragon fight. Uh, so basically, as long as we get through whoever, you know, whatever boss we fight here, I'm feeling good about our chances at coming out on top. Alright, I just opened up that side door just kind of because... Uh, oh, you have more spice for sale. 68, we can't afford. The Heart Locket, though, might be a really good idea. It'll basically give us another... It's essentially uh, negating the effect of losing one heart when we take our next spice, because let's be real, the game's gonna throw us another spice probably soon. If I had to guess, it's gonna be soon. 
Uh, excuse me, did I get hit by something? Oh, I bet it was this dude. I bet he shot some bullshit at me. Um, no money from that room. That's kind of a disappointment. Uh, yeah. Alright, I guess we'll go through here. I've got Wallmonger. This should not be a problem. I'm expecting pretty good things out of this. Just gonna pop Potion here. And I'm gonna walk into all of his bullets as much as possible, actually, to send them back at him. Okay, now I need to not walk through his bullets, because bad things would happen. I'm just gonna blank that. I would really like the camera to not be my weapon here. Like, this is annoying. I'm trying to flawless this shit, guys. Give me the camera. Okay, there we go. Jeez. I mean, t-shirt cannon is not much better, but... Here we go. Give me the... Oh, the triple demon headshot lasted for like half a second. That's kind of disappointing. I can't be too surprised by it, but still kind of disappointing. Hey, hey, get that flawless. Oh, we missed the flawless on the mind player. I forgot about that. I was a little excited. Um, okay, so yeah, let's... We did not get a key, and we know that is our passive item. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. What do I want to do here? Um, I don't know where our secret room would be. So I guess I will... See, I can. we can either get a key or an extra HP. I say screw the chest. Screw the chest. It's fine. That I'm not worried about. I still don't think I can afford this spice, no. Uh, heart locket then. We could have gone back to... Oh, I forgot that curses us, though. We could have gone back to the black market and picked up... What was it? Full metal jacket, I think? Instead? Um, but I think a heart container is... It's a good compromise anyways. Okay. Down to the forge. We're in a pretty, pretty strong spot here, too. We have a lot of curse. Um, hopefully we end up not fighting a cursed dr dragon, because that could really suck. You know, it like doubles its health. I think it's actually two and a half times the health. If I'm, and I could be wrong about that, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what jamming has or what jamming does to an enemy's health. It definitely increases it by a lot, I'll say that. All right, so here's our next spice, thank you. More! <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna do the hammer trick here. It's fine. Hammer bro is a little annoying, but not even that bad. More spice! <laughs> I wish there was a way to look up uh, what active effects, or what, I guess, effects are active on you. I don't, I don't know how to say what I'm asking. Um, basically to see, like, how many levels of curse you have, how many times you've taken spice in a run, or, like, you know, if you look at, like, a RPG character sheet, it'll say whatever effects are active at the moment. So, like, if you have, you know, whatever, broccoli, it'll say, like, plus... 15% damage, you know, shit like that. Basically, that's what I would like, is just to see what all act, uh, what all effects are active on me. Okay. Um, Skelly, you gotta go. You're my top priority here. I'm glad you're not jammed. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is the, uh... Hold on, I know, I, I know what it's called, I can't think. It's... What? Does this not work with Scattershot or something? It should make, like, a big explosion, but it's not. That's weird. So, I guess I'll just use the, uh... Oh, I need to kill the ghost dude first. Because he is so... It's so hard to see his little, like... I don't know what to call it the little thing he sends out. Jesus, I'm trapped in that doorway. Because it blends in... When, when they're jammed, it's so hard to tell uh, where it is. It's like really dark, spooky looking. 
Okay. Nail gun is so bad. If we come across this in the dragon fight, we might be in trouble. Like this, or God forbid, the clob or the pea shooter. Ugh. Like, we can be in some real trouble. I mean, we have plenty of health. So as long as we don't take a bunch of hits while we're trying to burn through the the ammo on it, we'll be alright. Negadouser? Really, guys? Really, though? Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. What is this thing called? It was bugging me earlier. Commando. Okay. Yeah, that was Scattershot. Give me that all day. Um, do I care about finding the blacksmith? Not really. Um, I'd say I'm more concerned with... Uh, getting to the dragon and killing the dragon. That, that's where my big concern lies. Because right now, the more rooms we have to go through, I'd say the more likely it is we take damage on one of these jammed pools. And that could be real trouble. Like, that could be death. Ah, oh, spice. More. More spice. Give me. Ha ha ha. Heal the power. Oh, God. No. Okay, I have made a huge mistake with my spice usage. I took too much. And now the Lord of the Jammed has come to claim my gun soul. Um, so, let me think. Is there a way to lower your curse without... I don't think so. Uh, there, there is. You need that special shrine, um, but it's super rare. Maybe it's more rare the more curse you have? Oh, that's the AK-47, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, there's a bullet shark. That's what they look like. That's a big bullet shark, but it, it should still count. Um, <laughs> this Lord of the Jammed is going to be such a pain in the ass for the dragon. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? I guess we're just breaking this. Uh, not a secret room? Okay. <laughs> just gotta go. We just gotta outrun this dude. Actually, uh, one thing you can do is, like, teleport, and he has to walk all the way across the map. So maybe if I come down here, this will buy me some time. And one one thing we can do is to give us a little bit of extra time on the dragon fight before he shows up, is basically once we find the dragon, uh, teleport to the other side of the map, essentially. Um, if there's still rooms left to clear out over there, great. Uh, but basically, you just gotta wait for him to get over there, and then teleport back to the boss fight. Or, like, the room right before the boss fight and run in there. Uh, and then that'll give you a, a little bit of time before he catches up to you. Uh, this is scary, though. I don't like this at all. These dudes are trouble. Um, this is what, the tearjerker? It's kind of a crap gun. Uh, yikes. I know I still have my potion that I could be using, but I am not. <laughs> I, I want to save it in case we come across the dragon fight soon. I know, I know, it's kind of silly, because there's still so much of this floor possibly left to go. Oh, God. Also, you got to be careful trying to teleport around the Lord of the Jammed, because it does not slow him down. <laughs> you know, it's not like switching... Oh, I can't even demonstrate it. I was going to say, like, holding uh, Y or whatever the other button is if you use a keyboard and mouse. Um, on an Xbox controller, it's Y. Uh, but holding Y to switch your guns, how it slows enemies down, and slows I guess it just slows down time. Um, like, bullets are still moving, they're just very slow. Uh, opening the map does not do that. Oh shit, I'm so boned on this room, huh? This sucks. Especially because all of this shit is frozen now. I'm just gonna pop my potion, I guess. That's... <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take way more hits if I don't. Alright, we got this. He's dead. Yikes. So maybe I do care about finding the blacksmith just to see if she has any health for sale. Because that could really be worth it. 
Oh, there's gonna be more enemies, huh? Okay, I can't go that way. Ah, shit. I got hit by a jammed bullet, even. I feel like it's gonna throw some spice at us here any minute now. I just see that happening. Shit. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Alright, we got a key so we can open up whatever this chest is. What is it? It's a uh, red guanstone? Okay. Um, I guess we'll teleport up here. It's looking like maybe the blacksmith and the dragon are going to be close to each other. Uh, what do you got? I'm going to take both of those and a blank even. <laughs> and I just got to move quickly. Just got to go. Go, go, go. The Lord of the Jammed is on his way to claim my soul. There he is. Oh, no. Run away. Run away. All right. So let's teleport as far away as possible. Oh, shit. That was close. Uh oh, ammo. All right. And then... When he decides to show up over here, we're just going to warp back. Yikes. <clears throat> Stressed out over this. This is going to make the boss fight so much more difficult. Oh my god. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at, dog? I'm waiting. There it is. And... Bye. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. Alright, let's go kill this dude now. Hopefully, uh, we can get... Shit. Of course it's jammed. Okay. I, I can't be surprised. I fully expected this to happen. Um, I am gonna pop potion here. <laughs> oh, god. Okay, potion has run out. But we do still have a couple of blanks. I'll use one there. How's this fight going? It's not bad. We're getting we're getting damage out. I'm gonna blank again because I was gonna get hit. Uh, triple and villain is a hell yes for me. Uh, shit. I thought uh I thought we had potion back up, but I was just off. Um, I do still have one more blank. I like this bullet bore action. I'm gonna blank there. That was real helpful. Um, I'm expecting the Lord of the Jam to really screw me over when it comes to this final fight. Or the final phase, rather. Um, especially considering we don't have any more blanks. <laughs> and our active item is only going to be so useful. Okay, got one HP. So that's basically if I get hit, I'm dead. <laughs> that's what that tells me. Alright, I just have to... Uh, Potion of Lead Skin, I guess. And accept that this is probably not going to go well. Um, we did get the gold gun. Son of a bitch. I was thinking we might be able to kill it super quick, quick with the gold gun scatter shot. Damn. All right. Killed by Lord of the Jammed. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to have your notifications turned on so you get that notification whenever I post a new video. You can check out the live stream at twitch.tv slash bigbadbardmedia. I don't do it all the time, so uh, it's probably a good idea if you go there and I'm not streaming. Go ahead and click the follow button and make sure you uh, turn on your notifications for that so you do get a notification whenever I go live. You know, you get a little buzz for the show. And then I also post when I'm going live and post my videos on Twitter, so go ahead and check that out at Big Bad Bard Media. So go ahead, click all those follow buttons, come on back for the next video. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.